Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Oxygen Not Included. Today's beverage is... Not normally stated at the start of these videos, but it's a lovely cup of cinnamon coffee, so I thought I would share that with you. In the previous episode, we were working on, among other things, sanitation. Now, despite what a couple of people have commented on saying and whatnot, this is really important that we get done early. It's not just important for this game, it's also important for, well, life and human civilization. We wouldn't be where we were without sanitation. In fact, if you want to see what happens when you don't have sanitation, come around the estate where I live, where one ply toilet paper is a luxury. Anyway, I digress. So, in the previous video, as I said, we worked on this thing here. We also were digging down the bottom, which I'm currently going to go off to cancel and then get rid of that for reasons that I'll explain um, now. Why not? So, at the moment, we do have some research going. If we go over to the research tree, we can see that we are working on meal preparation, and that is electric grill, mess table, egg cracker, and the farm tile, and that's good because we do need to get some farming up and running. However, once we've got that sorted, we do have options to go any which way for our research here, and there's one thing that I sort of missed, and it was this thing here. I wouldn't say missed, actually, more I knew about it. I just forgot that we could utilise it in this sense. I knew that the uh, liquid reservoir was there, I just didn't put two and two together. So the liquid reservoir is fairly simple. It stores any liquid resource piped into it. So... When we have our sanitation around here, which by the way, I will go to priority, change to number six, and then prioritize all of that, and then stuff down here, because I think we need to get that sorted. We'll also put research up to level nine, because that's really, really important as well. Um, yeah, so all of this stuff here, oh, I think we'll also change this microbe musher to say, just produce the one bar for the time being. Actually, uh, we'll say how many we've got. Uh, we'll probably put another three in the cube. So, um, yes, once we've got all that sorted, dug out, we can then place all of the showers and toilets in here. However, the problem with that is then we get this waste water, and we don't really have any way for the waste water to go. Now, some people have suggested we just pump it in here. Not ideal. Uh, the second option, which is our preferred option, was to then bring a big pipe network along and then pump it into here. The problem with that is that it's a very long pipe to go over there and... Um, it's just a little bit of a problem. However, if we research this uh, water tank here, this liquid reservoir, we can store the water from here and put it into a tank. There's an advantage to that. A, it will take up a very short space. The disadvantage is that we are essentially kicking the ball down the road for somebody else to deal with. And when I say somebody else, I mean me, future me. So I'm going to have to deal with these reservoirs, and that's not a good thing. Is that gold? Yeah, we've got gold there. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's important that we get that built and we can pump the water into there and it means less piping but it also means that we then have to filter it which the filtration system will have to be around here that isn't a big problem uh, what is a problem is that currently we have some bottles of water where we really don't know where to place in this polluted water also this thing here is a bit of a sink when it comes to carbon dioxide so this is one of the low points in the place we'll need to sort that out all of this polluted oxygen when we dig into here will probably go up and then we means that we really do need then to uh I guess go for, where is it, the the oxygen scrubber? Uh, there it is, or deodorizer, that's what it is there. So there's a lot of research that we need to sort. Anyway, we're going to put it to max speed while they crack on with all of this. The next duplicant is available in how long? Uh, 2.3 cycles. We have decent food. We have some eggs there. We have decent ores and such. Some of it is smelly and we do need to put it into storage, but I just haven't got around to it. As I said, the priority really for this episode is getting this sorted. So that's exactly what we're focusing on. Uh, and to be fair though, the problem we're going to have is the carbon dioxide and I don't know what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll be able to mitigate that with some maybe pumps or something, but I haven't yet decided. I'm very tempted to um, open up this bit of flooring here. Open up this bit of flooring and work in that way. What we could also do is bring the ladder down to here because eventually we're going to have to go into the security door and find out what that is. And to be fair, we could probably get that done this episode and also create that uh, sink that I mentioned previously as well. The problem is that now all this polluted oxygen is going to go up and that's just going to cause all matter of problems. And in terms of this steam vent, I was um, saying that I'm not really too sure what the deal with this is. Now, apparently it's really good because it does produce steam, unsurprisingly called a steam vent. I mean, shock, horror, insert 10 <laughs> generic surprise points here. However, that produces steam which then condenses down back to water, which is pretty good because it is basically the best source of water in the game. At least it's a sort of renewable source, so that's pretty good. And we might make a pump system there and put it into our proper reservoir, but we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Okay, that is a nice beverage. So, we are waiting for people to finish all of this off. I'm very tempted to put some um, gas tiles there, or the permeation tiles, where the mesh tile there uh, does not obstruct liquid or gas flow. In fact, I think I will put one at the um, front and at the back. 
And do I want to put one in the middle? Um, yes, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. And we'll probably do the same down there. It just means that this isn't all grouped. Um, to be fair, we do have the pneumatic door, which allows gases and other things to go through it. So that's fine. Um, it shouldn't be a massive problem. We'll just, yeah, we'll just see. Anyway, so for the uh, manual generator, it is pretty much um, doing nothing at the moment. Is that just, I'm just using some, yeah, I'm just a water cooler there. Uh, Ari's just having a little socialise, <laughs> a little socialise with uh, the hatchling there, which is pretty good. We still have our toilet, which is out of order and does require emptying. That is not good, not early in the morning, because you can see a lot of people are needing the toilet, which means this thing is going to be all manner of issues. Oh, it's going to cause some problems. Um, right, so everybody's going to probably wee themselves now, which is suboptimal to say the least, and I hope they don't do it around the freshwater system, and well, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, there we go, there's made a mess, they've made a mess in where the toilet is, so that's apt, if nothing else. Uh, there's some more mess being made, and what we'll do, I think we will... Wait until this is dug out. Once this is dug out, we can then clean this up. We'll have that done. We'll have more research done because the w this is higher priority than the manual generator. We've put that to six as well. That'll actually be ran on as well. But at the moment, even though the power station, sorry, the research station is on nine, it won't be able to work because there's no generation. Okay, so all that's sorted. We will go to clean up liquid spills. Do that to nine because we do want to make sure that that's all clear. We don't want that stuff around there. There's just so many germs. In fact, you can see 14,000 germs, which is only food poisoning. I say only food poisoning, like it's not a problem, but yeah, it's food poisoning. So we'll clean that up. We'll be all right. Um, I think I will go back over to digging. I'll place that in there. This is just a standard five priority. They'll get to it when they get to it. And then there we are. So it's just really getting another duplicate. Oh, we do actually have another skill. So we can see Ellie. We have another skill. They are really wanting field researching, although that will put them into a morale deficit. You can see if we get that, it's plus two science and geographical analysis, which means we can look at that steam vent and get some stuff on it. But It'll put them into a morale deficit, which will give them unnecessary stress. Whereas if we get things like uh, strength, which is improved tidying, or art fundamentals, it'll give us some stuff, but nothing that we really need at the moment. I'm very tempted to put them into that morale deficit, because I think it's better that we get the field research for... Um, posterity anyway. In terms of hats, we haven't got a hat. Let's put an advanced research hat on. Bert, we will put on a hard digging hat. For Ashkan, we'll put on the improved construction hat. This is what someone suggested in the comments. We need to put hats on them, and I agree. And then improved tinkering, and what we'll do is we'll go back to normal speed, and we'll see what happens, and you can see that, uh, hey, we've got hats. There we go. We are now... <laughs> Trying, starting to rival Team Fortress 2 in terms of hats. Right, okay, so we will go to max speed and let them crack on. All of this has now been cleaned, which is good. The majority of this will be sorted in but a moment. You can see Bert's coming along and holding his breath. Uh, he's currently digging all of this granite. He's the only one, I believe, at the moment that can do the granite digging. So that's why they're doing that. And why the others are cracking on with other things. Research is now completed, so we can see that we have got Eureka. We've discovered meal preparation technology. So... I want to go over to our furniture and then mess tables, change that to priority level 9, and then I want to put in... Actually, I don't want to put it in there just yet. I want a, a meal preparation area, and I want a... A, like a seating area. So let's go over to room overlay. I'm going to go down to mess hall. It requires mess table and no industrial machinery. Uh, the great hall, however, is it's just great hall which significantly improves the duplicates morale, which is mess tables, no industrial uh, machinery, increasing the decor and recreational buildings, which is morale plus six. So we do want the mess hall. Um, let's have a quick look. We've got the washroom, latrine, barracks, bedroom, greenhouse, recreation room. So this machine here technically doesn't really do anything um so hang on i just need to check the ladder's going there where is the oh that's where the fire pole was going to go down there wasn't it so the door will be there the door will be there okay so what i can do um i think we'll probably move this stuff over to that side eventually but what we'll do is we'll have a pneumatic door going in around here oh no because we're going to move those over to that side aren't we I know I keep changing my mind where stuff goes, but um, it's just the nature of the beast. So we're going to put that there and then that there so we know where our um, our end bits are. I will deconstruct that, which you can see is uh, going very quickly. And then we will go over to the stations. Supercomputer. I'm going to place one down here for now. That's all temporary as well. In terms of the food, we want the microbe musher. 
and then electric grill. I want to go to power, wire, run that in, like that. I will deconstruct this stuff here, although to be fair, I'll just deconstruct that bit and, no, oh, sorry, I'll deconstruct that bit because we don't need the connection there. And then, that means we can create all of this stuff, furniture, mess tables, currently priority level 9. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap because I might put some plants in or something. And there's 10 mess tables, priority level 9. It's imperative I get the tiles put in, which will be that for the time being. Um, obviously, it does need to go further along to be classed as a room, but there you go. But I'm very aware that now what, what, what a lot of what's happening here is not really what we need. Mush bar we will put to um, run that one. So I'll just put, say... Just produce five of them. This will say mush fry. So what happens is essentially you take the mush bar and you fry it. So it turns it from an 800 calorie mush bar, which is edible <laughs> putrefied mud slop. Uh, prefer the preferable to star version, but only barely. And yes, that's not very good. However, the mush fry, deep fried solidified mush slop inside almost completely uncooked despite the crunch in the outside. So the quality is terrible, but it is not uh, <laughs> grizzly. So it's not as bad as it could be and also it does increase uh, the amount of calories that uh, it provides so we'll say forever we'll do that forever and it'll just say right crack on and do your own thing there all right so we've got uh, this power uh, manual letter generator i'm going to put that to level nine i know when you set everything to level nine nothing's at level nine i know how that works but anyway uh, we don't have any research selected so we need to think really what's the best thing for us well we definitely want we definitely want to get this sanitation up and running and to, we need a way to we need need somewhere to put that water which requires that and we also need the deodorizer eventually so i guess this will be the temporary solution let me go over to digging here and i'm going to dig out an area that is not terribly large but it's uh, it's going to go around here and this is going to be where we have our uh, where we have our tiles going across and i don't know how big I don't know how large this thing is at the moment. Let me just deconstruct that section there. I don't know how large the storage tanks are, which is why I'm focusing on, I guess, just getting an open area so that I can put the tanks in and then expand it as need be. Oh, so there you go. You can see that uh, they've had this mush bar. Ugh, they don't like it, but they have sat around the mess table, which is a good thing. And the toilet is in use. And everything's okay there. Excellent. So research is underway. We can see that we have research 4 out of 24 filtration, which gives us a gas filter, uh, which um, it sieves some gas from one side to the other. And we've got a liquid filter as well. Um, the reason you would probably want that is if you have, for example, some contaminated water or, so, or a mixed bag, or even when it comes to the air, you say have... I don't know, natural gas mixed with oxygen. You can pump it into that, and then where you find the natural gas, you then put it elsewhere. And um, that is possibility. Let me just check the... Oh, I was going to check the oxygen report. However, I can't. Oxygen being produced last cycle is 226, and what we consumed is 270. So, much of a muchness. In terms of overlays, there's a problem, because you can see all this carbon dioxide is hanging around here, which is affecting people's sleep. You can see it's slowly going down. They're not... I don't think they're disturbed. Are they disturbed? No, they are holding breath. So, it's lit, well-fed, and holding breath. So, that's actually okay. It's not too much of a problem. So they're going to crack on with all of their tasks of the day and do whatever they need to do. Bert's going to come down and do his general digging job, which he uh, loves so much. And pa no, I don't think he loves so much because he's just heading off to do something else. Why have they done that? So, oh, I guess they do, are they going to use it, are they? No, Bert decided to dig that and then head over there to do one thing. Thank you, Bert. That is extremely inefficient of you. Okay, so... We are digging that out there, we're digging that out there. We will place the sanitation stuff sooner rather than later. In terms of food, I don't have the egg cracker or the farm tile. Farm tile is a futurist problem. Um, calories, we probably do need to actually set that to forever because I just think that, yeah, that's probably the best way of doing it. We just need more, uh, another duplicate now, which we are getting there, to be fair. Priority is set to, let's set all this to nine. Let's get this done. Come on, let's, let's not mess around anymore. 
Um, that's level 9. That is why I normally don't set these tiles to something else. You notice there when I went to the priority, this was set to 9, which we didn't want. That should all be 5, which is why I generally advise, and to be fair, I should really take my own advice on this one, to not change the priorities here because it's very easy to forget. Anyway, so all of these tiles have now been put in. So we've got the mesh tiles, so we have stuff going through there. We do have the research complete, so we have gas filter and the liquid filter. They will immediately start cracking on with the next task, which is hopefully um, going to be very quickly done. Um, shouldn't be too bad, and then that will give us the liquid reservoir. Ah, nice. So, a new duplicate in uh, a couple of seconds, which is good. Once we've got them, we'll be able to go ahead and uh, probably, well, we'll probably go ahead and print out. Who do we need? Let's have a quick look at the skills. So we've got someone that's good at excavation, yes. We've got someone that's good at machinery and construction. We've got uh, Marie here, who's good at cuisine, excavation, and a, just a bit of a sort of all-rounder, really. Ellie, who's good at science. And Ari, which is good at machinery. So, ideally, agriculture. I'll take agriculture, if we can get one. We'll have to see how we get on with that one. Uh, you can see that the algae terrariums here are producing some oxygen, and they are taking in the uh, carbon dioxide, which is good. However, they are outputting polluted water, which is why we want to open this area, so we can have a pump and just basically pump that water into there. There is the lovely sound of the printing pod being activated. We have medicine and athletics and snores loudly, no. And we've got supplying and building, which is construction and strength. And they have a decreased air consumption rate, but we can't do digging, which is not great. But Liam, um, it's just a case of we need bodies on the ground, so welcome aboard. <laughs> Let's go over to Liam here and we'll see what they can get. Improved carrying and improved construction. I will go for improved construction and we'll give them oh no hat sadly they don't have any hat so they'll have to crack on and do other things right so digging set over there this is being created that's all on the way uh, that's on the go there so that's got a work errand we'll say priority um we don't need to say pri actually we'll say priority eight for the mush bars there we have all of these in that's fine this is probably not classed as a room no it's not because it is currently you can see that it's not currently sealed off maximum size 120 tiles so we need to increase the size of it we could do that by simply for now placing that there that's not a great uh, it's not a terrible idea, actually. Uh, let's just change that to priority now, level 9 and get that done. Um, and they'll go ahead and do that. And then that might be classed as a room now. And it is not because... Oh, we haven't got the ones up there. Okay, my mistake. That's... Uh, yeah, that's just pointless. Right, let's go over to... Um, we're going to go over to our plumbing here. And we need to place in a couple of things. We need to place in the showers and we need to place in the toilets. My preference is to have the showers down the bottom. And then at the top, we will have the lavatories. Simply because you want to use the lavatories... Uh, sooner, uh, you want to have them closer, and I'm going to have probably, uh, uh, probably have maybe four of each, followed by, and it'll be in. I thought it was in plumbing, but it's not. It's actually in here. Followed by two of these, so we'll have uh, we'll have another one there, and then we'll have two sinks. I think that would be of some benefit, and so we'll one there, one there, and then finally one there, and same on the other side, and then we will unpause it. While they're cracking on with that, I'm going to go over to liquid pump, and we want to place a liquid pump. It doesn't really matter at the moment, but we'll place it there. Ideally, you want like a little uh, delve, so that's like the lowest point, which we'll place there. That is really outputting some, um, it says steam unbreathable gas. Um, ooh, it is 103 degrees C, but it does condense at a very quick, very, very qu uh, quick rate, actually. So that's pretty good. So it looks like they are eating, and they're all having a little natter, which is good. Uh, we still have, how many duplicates? One, two, three, four, five, six, but that is currently unassigned, but there we go, it'll be assigned. Uh, once they're sorted now. Uh, at least all of these shine bugs are not hanging around the cot because that is really annoying. That is really, really annoying. And we do have a lot of these um, shine nymphs and stuff. There's our cycle uh, 12 report, actually. So you can see that we have a net production of calories, uh, a net loss, actually, of um, 4,000, which is not ideal. Oxygen generation, minus 8.8. .8. That's not even worth worrying about at this stage. It's the calorie generation that is a problem. But with that being set to um, a priority, let's set that to a priority of 7 and this to priority of 7 as well. So we want to always, as well, well as much as we can anyway, produce the uh, mush fries and then obviously um, 
working that as well we should be all right so these ones here priorities we'll change that to six we'll get all of that sorted and this should be the sanitation not done but we'll see how we get on in terms of digging, we've got this little bit to be done here. We've got all of these things to be placed. You can see that we have got some polluted oxygen. It's, I think it's come from here as well as some slime as well, which is something we need to sort out. But like I say, that's a sort of not a, I wouldn't say a low priority, but it's not certainly the highest priority. Uh, we're going to go over to power and then the wire, and the wire will run across and then down. Um, we, we are strained already because uh, we've got how much here? Um, these wires can take, I think it's uh, 1,000 watts, so yeah. So we've got two three, four, call it five, six, and a bit, seven, eight. So with this pump, we're pretty much running at almost maximum capacity for this stuff. So we'll have to sort that out at some point. Let me just connect this up like so. And then we'll have to do the pipe work, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. So obviously they are cracking on with all of the toilets and cracking on with the... Uh, with all of this here and don't need to build any more wire but I do need to work out the plumbing so the plumbing we can see the several ways uh, we've got this so this is an output and this is the input so the input we need to have all of the fresh water so how are we gonna do that well there's a couple of ways we could do it um, with these being centralized so they're all on the same sort of path It'd be, un it'd be probably not a good idea to have bridges going across. Actually, could we use bridges? Could we just use liquid bridges like that? Um, we could bridge there, then bridge there. But to be honest with you, I think the best course of action will be to go from there. We'll come across. We'll come along. This is where we have a problem here because I don't think we can get to that section. We'll see. And then across. And then it goes in, 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 and then in. All right. That's not ideal because they'll be able to see the pipe work, which does have a negative, um, I think it does have a decor. Oh, no, decor plus 10% because we're currently using sandstone. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, and for the output, we'll run the pipe work up like that, which I know we are using a lot of pipe work here, but... Maybe it's... I don't know if it's the best way of doing it, but it's the way we are doing it. And then this will go across. And then down. And then across. And then into whatever we have there. That is a hell of a lot of pipe work, so I'm hoping that it's going to be alright. That doesn't say that we can't get access to it. It doesn't say we can't get access. So maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We will have to see. So that's a lot of building, and they're going to crack on with that. You can see that we are frying up these uh, <laughs> these things here. Marie is happily doing that, which is good. And then apparently cleaning the outhouse. Oh, there's only two visits remaining. We need to clean that toilet. Let's get that cleaned up post-haste. Because if we don't do it before the day is done, it means that we'll have an accident tomorrow. We do now have the toilets in, which is good, and also the showers we're sorting out as well. So we have three of the lavatories and two of the showers, but the other stuff's getting placed. All of the other pipework and stuff has been ordered. Obviously, it'll take some time to get on with that one. We do have a skill point available. We'll check that one out. So it's Ashcan. We've got um, all manner of things. We've got operating, we've got uh, construction. We're going to go for extra construction there, because we've got a lot of construction on the go. Where is Ashcan? What are they doing? They are... I think they've got... Oh, they're hungry, actually. Fair enough. Um, they are cracking on with all of this. Insufficient oxygen, yes. Unrefrigerated food, yes. We do need to sort that out. Um, at the moment, we're burning a lot of calor calories with this manual generator. But we'll see. Um, how are we doing for other things? Priority would really be get this sanitation up running, then farming. So then we have the full... We have oxygen generation sorted, we have sanitation sorted, and then we have uh, food sorted, which goes back to the sanitation uh, in a roundabout way. So, that would be okay. At least they... Do they take their, take their uh, helmets off when they're doing this? Oh, it looks like they do. That's cool. And yeah, they don't like it. They really don't like it. <laughs> but... Let's have a quick look at our cycle 13 report. Uh, again, calorie generation, minus nearly 5,000 and minus 90 oxygen. Okay. So we may need another one of these oxygen diffusers. It isn't a big problem at the moment. 
that is a problem though down there. We probably need to put that. Um, that's polluted auction. We need to put that filter, the filter in, as I mentioned. Now this is the um, the well, but uh, yeah, let's get this up and running first. It looks like all of this will be built shortly. In terms of our research, we have improved plumbing, pretty much sorted for the novice research. It's just the advanced research to do. So yeah, um, currently we are obviously focused on making these mush bars, but. I guess the issue is that these mush bars are very labour intensive to make, but they don't, in terms of calories, they don't produce a lot. Um, and having two duplicates constantly working on that is not ideal. Let me go to priority level 6 and let's get the priority set for a lot of this, which, to be fair, should probably be soon anyway. Get that done. Let's see if they can sort that. I'm hoping that that plumbing is right. Let me just double check that. No, that should be fine. That is the outputs. Outputs and inputs. Yeah. So they are sorting that. Let's go over to rooms. Yes, that's now classed as a washroom. So that is the highest morale it can get. So you've got latrine, which is morale plus one, and washroom. Excellent. Um, this, however, is miscellaneous room. So sadly, it's not classed as a washroom. What might be best is, strangely, that we just remove one of these tiles and have a hole in it. <laughs> I know that might sound silly, but when you do that, it means that these are all one one thing. Let me try that. Let me deconstruct that and see if that is actually the case. We'll set that to priority level 9, because I want to see if this actually works. No. Too small. Uh, too... Ah, yeah. Sadly, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, maybe it's best that we have two and two. No, no, that's fine. The morale bonus is fine. Um, in the toilet, that's great. I like the fact that there's a morale bonus, and that there isn't one in the shower. Not a big fan. Or is there a shower? No. No. Oh well. Anyway, um, it's not a big problem that there's no that n everything's not a room. That's okay. Oh, that not everything's room, should I say? Okay, we're gonna go to duplicate skills, Marie, and we're gonna give them um, increased cooking. Uh, they seem to be focused on that, so we're gonna go for. Uh, we've already got grilling. What about Liam? Uh, you've got improved construction hat on. Yeah, now we do. Excellent. So, uh, Edible is now up to 28, which is good. Colony Achievement has been earned. We'll have a quick look at that. We can see that we have uh, to pay the bills. Use a duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Excellent. That is good. So, finishing off the plumbing round here and then finishing off this bit here. You can see that obviously they are working on a lot of this stuff. It's just a matter of time now. It is just a matter of time. We've got six duplicates, uh, only 1% stress, one uh, bit of food poisoning there. We do also have some no more skill points to Bert, and obviously we're going to go for super hard digging this time. Uh, that hasn't put them into a morale deficit, which is good. That'll allow them to excavate quicker because they've got extra excavation. In fact, the excavation is now 11, which is what, 225%? We're going to go for super hard digging hat. Um, I'll check that in a bit. And the Abyssalite Mining, which is good. Let me go and check them when they uh, go and learn this thing. There he is. There's Bert coming along. Having a little chat. How are you doing? Yeah, running. on just, just doing running stuff, mate. Uh, and we'll see their brand new... Oh, look at that. <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> a little glare in their eyes as well. Aww. Uh, let's just have a quick look at their skills. Excavation is... Um, 11, which is... Oh, it's actually 275% digging speed. Even... Berta. And with that horrible, terrible joke, I think we will leave it there. <laughs> this has been a fairly productive episode, I feel. Research is ongoing. Uh, not very good, actually. We're not doing much of this advanced research, but we will get there. We've got um, decent... Um, We've got decent calorie generation by the look of it. Let's have a quick look. I'll wait until we've got this cycle 14 report. Um, we've got all of the lavatories put in, all the showers put in. Most of the plumbing is at least ordered. The only thing we haven't got is a place to put all of this water. Let's go to the uh, report here. We've got a... Okay, I... <laughs> Apparently we added 600 calories. We removed 8,000. That's a net loss of 7,600 calories. 
I have no idea how we've managed that, um, but still, oxygen generation is minus 60 kgs, not too much of a problem there. So I don't know why we're losing so much stuff, but I, like I say, I'll worry about that later on, although maybe getting farming tiles up and running is maybe now a higher priority than I originally thought, but we'll see how we get on, because that's going to require all of the digging here. And I think spreading ourselves too far would be problematic. We'll just have to struggle on with this and then we'll finish this off, which I'd really like to have done this episode, but alas. And yeah, we'll just see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.